Good morning, guys. It is Thursday, March 21st, 2024. This is Bathrobe Business. I got my coffee and I got the news. So uh, this is adding up to be kind of more or less a very slow week. Uh, I do have some stories to report that I think are of interest that will affect the market, but I feel like overall it's been a fairly slow week and very predictable in a lot of regards. Uh, I'm going to give the headline story first because I think all my stories are pretty short and sweet. Uh, gold. So gold is up again. Uh, as you know, I talk about gold on this channel a lot. I feel like it's a boring subject. Nobody gets any interest in it. It's the video that always does the worst because nobody looks at gold. But gold is a very, very powerful indicator. I will say it again and again. I do not buy gold personally, but you have to look at gold because it is one of the oldest market indicators. It is one of the most powerful market indicators and gold is never wrong. Um, it, so gold, as we know, has been rising for months now. It has hit a new record of 2200 It is currently at $2,207. Uh, this is a new record for gold. Gold has never been this high. This is incredibly surprising for multiple reasons. Uh, as I've talked about on the channel, when gold is above $2,000, traditionally something is wrong in the economy. Now, we have never faced this level of inflation as we have over the last four years in the economy. So this could be gold compensating for that. However, the inflation rate does not correlate to the price of gold. So in other words, when inflation was going through the roof, uh, when we were having 8 9% inflation, gold was not doing anything. And now, even though we're getting occasionally high inflation numbers, gold is remaining incredibly stable. I'm sorry, gold is not remaining incredibly stable. Sorry, it's still early morning here. Uh, it's about 6.30 right now. Uh, so it, it, this is what's peculiar, is gold is continuing to rise despite the fact that interest rates are continuing to fall, uh, inflation rates are continuing to fall. So uh, I know a lot of people when I posted videos about this before have said, well, it's because central banks are purchasing a lot of gold. This is true. Central banks are purchasing a lot of gold. China is purchasing a ton of gold right now. Uh, partly because of their real estate crash uh, and uh, multiple reasons. Banks, Central banks are often purchasing gold. That's not unusual. Uh, so the numbers are slightly elevated, but it's not anything that is record-breaking. Uh, if you look at the trends, it's only up about a couple thousand tons a year. I shouldn't say a couple thousand tons. It's up multiple thousand tons. But the, the correlation doesn't seem to be proportional. But even if it does, even if that was true, why are central banks investing so heavily in gold if everything is going just fine? The other thing to be concerned about is usually when interest rates are high, gold is low. So uh, we're not getting any cuts yet. I know everybody keeps saying, oh, we're going to get three cuts this year. As I've talked about on this channel, I don't think we are. But even if we were, we're not getting those cuts now. Even the most liberal predictions say the cuts aren't going to come until June or July. So that's still another two, three months away. Uh, why are the cuts not happening? Uh, why are the rises in prices happening now and not when actual cuts are coming? Uh, it's The market is usually reactive. So this is really cause for concern. I think that we need to be watching this because the fact that gold is going so high means there's instability in the market in one way or another. Whether central banks are purchasing, whether individuals are purchasing, or the fact that gold is at a new record high, it's cause for concern. That's all I'm going to say on the subject. Again, I don't think anyone finds gold as fascinating as I do, but I think it's a powerful indicator. Uh, next story is just a quick one. Uh, Reddit uh, sets an, its IPO price at $34 a share. It plans to IPO within the next couple of weeks. Just thought that was worth mentioning because it's probably going to be one of the biggest IPOs since 2019. Uh, Federal Reserve, that's the one I'm going to talk about, take a second to talk about as well. So uh, the Federal Reserve had a meeting yesterday, obviously it did not cut interest rates. If you read the stories, it says it's still planning for three rate cuts in 2024. This is misinformation. It, 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 you can keep scrolling within every article and the, when the question is posed, Jerome Powell says the following. Not to expect it uh, appropriate reduction in the target range until it has gained greater confidence that inflation is moving sustainably towards 2%. So literally, when asked, are you going to cut rates? He said, not until inflation is at 2%. And yet people keep talking about three rate cuts. Remember, we're already done with Q1. So uh, the third rate cut, uh, the first rate cut would have to come in Q2. Right? And so far, he isn't even predicting that when that's just a month or two away. Uh, I do not think we're getting any rate cuts. Um, so we'll see what happens with that. 
Uh, last story is just to notice, uh, jobless claims do dip to 210,000 uh, as layoffs show no sign of rising. I know a couple weeks ago I reported a higher than expected jobless number, but it looks like that trend has now reversed. Uh, job layoffs have slowed and uh, it seems that the, when the next unemployment rate comes out, I think we might end up seeing a dip in that unemployment because the last time I remember it went from 3.7 to 3.9, which is not a small jump. Uh, but uh, it looks like that might have been just a momentary blip in the economy. That's pretty much it. Like I said, very short week. This is actually my last video of the week uh, because I will be traveling tomorrow. I hope you guys have a productive day and a great weekend. Thanks.